Saint Paul reminds us about the depths or heights of ourselves. Do you not know, he tells the Corinthians, that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, who is in you, whom you have received from God. You are not your own. It's God's temple, and there is no good place in our life for idol worshipping, such as our ordinary self or ego always tends to do. The psalmist asks, Who may ascend the hill of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not lift up his soul to an idol. Such is the generation of those who seek your face, O God. What does happen on the hill of the Lord, where we enter the temple of the Lord? Well, what happens in ourselves, we who are the temple of the Holy Spirit, when we enter deeply into the temple? What happens is that we give birth to Christ, to God with us. Around 750 BC, Isaiah prophesied, the young woman is with child, and shall bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel, God with us. In the world of today, Father John Main says that every moment is a moment of Christ, of God with us, if we are present to it. We give birth to Christ, we transmit Christ to others through our life and work. You and I are challenged by God to freely do God's will. When a person accepts, then, as famous historian Arnold Toynbee declared, his reward for willing what is the will of God is that he finds himself taken by God into partnership in the doing of God's creative work. Definitely not a project of my ego. Such is the way of inner peace. It's not our peace, but his peace. Jesus said, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled. And do not be afraid. <laughs>